Everyone loves a game with fun cosmetics where you can design your character however you like. And in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, you can do just that. Like, just look at some of the cool character designs people have made already. Except for this guy. He took it too far. But what's also great about the cosmetics in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is that you don't have to spend a single penny to get them. That's right, there is no in-game item store and every cosmetic item is completely obtainable just by playing through the game. Some enemies can drop emotes, statue designs, banner patterns, outfit colours and more. However, last week on the Wonderlands Reddit, a user that goes by Lemon8Lime has found 13 secret hat cosmetics that you can acquire if you are lucky. So in this video, we are going to go over how to find 13 secret hats in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. If you find this video useful and you want to see more content from me, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Tiny Tina's Wonderlands videos. And I want to say a huge thank you for 200 subscribers. For a channel as small as mine, it really does mean a lot. So thank you so much for supporting me so far. Anyway, let's jump in. Number one and two, we have the Centurion style and the Tanks top hats. Both of these items are random world drops we can find in the game. I was lucky enough to have found the Centurion style when I was around level 20 on my Graveborn and I got the tanks top on my level 4 Berserker. So yeah, you can get these two hats at any time no matter what level you are, so if you just keep playing the game, I bet you can get these two hats in no time. Number 3 is the Ranger's Shade. If you're looking for a lone samurai kind of outfit, this hat might be for you. To get this hat, you will need to go to the top of Karnok's wall and fight the Wastard. When you fight him, make sure you have lightning, fire and frost weapons and spells. Number 4, we have the Flower Reef. To get this elf queen looking hat, make your way over to the Osu Gold Necropolis, go to the Hall of Heroes and fight the Nightmare Boss. For this fight, you will need poison, frost and lightning weapons and spells. Next up at number 5 we have the fin fashion which is like a mohawk shark fin mix. But if you want this fishy looking hat you will have to fight Drill who can be found at the God's Well which is located at the end of the Drowned Abyss. To defeat this boss with ease you will need fire and lightning weapons and spells. If you have anything that works really well at long range I highly recommend you use it. Number 6 is the barbaric brow which can be dropped by Salissa at the Sunfang Oasis. Now, do be aware that the drop chance for this hat is extremely high. It took me over 50 runs to get it and what didn't help is that Celissa is the most annoying boss fight in the game. But if you still want to try and grab it, fast travel to the Chestwood Locks and then go out and around until you enter Celissa's Eternal Wellspring. Once you are there, go up the elevator to begin the boss fight where you will need lightning and fire damage once again. Number 7 is the Villain's Cowl. To get this hat, you must take down the Dragon Lord at the top of the pyramid. It's a little bit annoying to farm this boss as you're not able to fast travel to the boss fight room like the other locations and the boss fight is quite a long one. So this could be quite a slow process but luckily I did get the hat on my 7th try. And the weapons and spells you will need are lightning, poison, fire and frost damage types. At number 8, we have my personal favourite, the Skull Cap, that can be obtained from the chance in the Warg Tooth Shallows. Once you are there, you can get quick access to the boss fight area by fast travelling to the wreck of the Tempest Scorn. You only need frost damage to take him out, and you can beat him in under 15 seconds, and luckily for me, I got the hat first try. Number 9 is the Draconic Dome, and you can obtain this hat from Zomboss in the Shatter Grave Barrow. Farming Zomboss is a bit of a nuisance since again there is no fast travel point that's anywhere close to the boss room. So you'll have to spawn at the Grave Nave and then make your long way to the boss fight. Once you are there, you will need poison and fire damage to take her down and luckily for me, I got the hat on the second try. Number 10, we have the Lead Mage's Lid. For this hat, head on over to the Tangled Drift and take out the Parasite's boss. You can fast travel to what's left of Driftwood and then jump on the pink flowers ahead of you to gain quick access into the boss room. For the boss itself, you will need poison, fire and frost damage to make easy work on the parasite who doesn't really attack you that much so you shouldn't have a problem. Number 11 is the cloak and dagger hat. For this Assassin's Creed looking hood, you will have to take down Vorkanar at Mount Craw. Fast travel to Tribute Way and make your way inside the tunnel to get to the boss fight. 
You will only need poison damage, but bear in mind that this boss is very tanky, so it's going to take a lot of damage to take it down. Furthermore, the drop chance for this hat is very high once again, and it took me at least 25 runs to get it. Number 12 is the Adventurous Hat. If you want to look like a cowboy, you will have to defeat the Banshee and the Weep Wild Darkness. If you fast travel to the Corrupted Heart, you can slide down and immediately take on the boss, whereas you can get absolutely melted by fire damage. And once again, she is one of those bosses that can be taken out very quickly, so she is a pretty good farm. Lastly, at number 13, is the Mysterious Mantle. This hat can be obtained from Ribula in a Snoring Valley, which is the first location in the game. Unfortunately, you'll have to run all the way from the starting area to the boss fight. There's no fast travels in between, you will have to make this 5 minute journey every time you want to farm the boss, which is very annoying, especially if your RNG luck is bad. But once you finally get there, you will only need frost damage to take him out, which is very easy like so, and over 15 runs later, I got the mysterious mantle. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can get all 13 secret hats in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. There may be more secret hats in the game to find, and if there is, I'll make a follow-up to this video. But if you found this video to be useful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Tiny Tina's Wonderlands content. Much love, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.